hand situation in an interview. We opted uh, not to do the interview because... Uh, that was a miscalculation of either strength or speed. Mark has had an... Hard right hand by Salito. And now Marquez gets there. to the body, but Salito was able to get his right elbow down and block yeah. it. Now he leads with the right. Marquez leads back with they didn't want, they you know, wanted another fast fight. And this is a technical <laughs> fight in the distance at these two. Salito continues in the mode of laying back and trying to make Marquez come to opportunity to jab. Now right hand lands for Salito. Now oh, good right hand. Knockouts in nine of his last ten bouts. Came in to face Marco Antonio Rubio of Mexico. Regardless, even at the risk of being caught. To get back to something you were speaking of earlier, Larry. An improvement in their overall program over a long period of time. Now they trade. They're going to end up going into some slow situations. Marquez in their first round. Throw more big left hands. Well, that was a case. To me, it was more of... Marquez was going. The Pacquiao has a repeating motion. Jab, jab, left hand. Jab, jab, left over and over and over. He reacted to it in a far more positive way. And it changed the entire fight. And all of a sudden, you know, he's fighting a very slow fight. Very, very little activity. One man, one Marquez. Whoop. He's really like choked as he's gotten up to his big moment right now. A big and glorious image, so maybe it was he's about ready to hurt Salito with the right hand. Well, both guys better be careful each other's right hand. And Marquez caught. And he lands another hard right hand on the Helsey. You're playing into the hands of Marquez when you do it, because this is exactly... You can maybe take him out of a stream, but right now, the way that he's fighting, he's fighting the perfect fight for Marquez to relax and, and fight the way he wants to. Salito winging the right hand over the top. Marquez saw it a mile away. Salito goes in a couple times recently and... A little bit more warmed up now and the fight... Right now is going to be a much better fight for him. In fact, this is one of his best rounds. In round five, Orlando Salito threw 44 punches. He's a good puncher though. And he sent back, you know, big fight for the world. You, you try to take the championship from the champion. You don't try to win it. And as look as though he wants to take any chances whatsoever tonight after having been forced to gamble against Pacquiao. Recent exchanges as recently on Salida has landed just as much as he... But he hasn't landed a combination, really. And he hasn't landed... He hasn't been able to sustain any kind of good attack or maybe two or three punches in a row. There's a hard right hand by Salido. Marquez... And There's a good one-two in... A lot of commission is telling Deloya he can only have part of the hand wrap the top of the nerve. Something else more than that. Uh, it could be a case of, once again, uh, Oster behind the knuckle towards the wrist. So the tape true. normally does not have phrased incorrectly exactly what it, I was told about the disagreement. We'll hope that Larry can find out more. Salito fires his right wide. Marquez... In the last three rounds. It's about as experienced as any trainer in the sport. Longtime trainer of Mexican legend Daniel Zaragoza. Overexcited. A little nervous perhaps after the first round of the Pacquiao fight. Left hook to the body. Left hook upstairs by Marquez. Now he lands a... Stepping up the tempo a little bit. Seizing yeah. the initiative. Salido man scheduled 12. Orlando Salido still occasionally looking for opportunities. Balance a lot as he throws punches and Marquez is beginning to lay back and take advantage of that. They're fighting at a pace at which both fighters are throwing an average of about 40 to 45 punches per round. And once again, uh, you can see step back and takes advantage of the counter punches. He's perfectly content to work his way through a dull decision here, if necessary. 88 to 83, uh, seven, seven rounds to do, one Manuel Marquez. Jim, I, I got to... credit up for he's, he's not that easy to hit. Good balance, punches good himself, and it, it, it seems to me... Losses in his career, 
Salito has worked hard. The chin of Salito just a few seconds ago. And there's a hard right hand who could see it coming and get a left hand up to block it, but no. And there's another hard right hand by Marquez and a left hook up inside that landed on the chin. Marquez is very comfortable in this style. You know, it was between rounds of a of a cuz uh, he knows that early next year he's going to get a rematch against Pacquiao. Marquez has determined that the next risk he takes will be the first risk he before that Kevin Kelly a lot of wonderful featherweights in the last day. I was told that too. I think he's became a little bit jealous of the how publicity is going with this boy uh, Amir. Hamid was a very very colorful fighter for a while. Manny, surely a grown man like Prince Nassim wouldn't fall under the left eye and a bump above the left eye from hard punches that Salito landed in the last round. And Marquez seems this is round 12. I think I'd better knock Marquez out. Uh, you know what? This be interesting. I've been still impressed with this. Let's see. I think fight somebody like Pacquiao. It takes a long time to develop the right instincts to have real comfort in a profession. Just count those losses when I see what they're trying to throw at 15 and 16. Salito won some higher fight the way he's fought the 11th and 12th. We'd have had some. Solid left hook. 10 seconds to go. Both guys want to finish with a flourish. Well, better late than never. The WBA IBF featherweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel Marquez.